What's up everybody? Welcome back and good morning. And if you guys read the title, you know that today we are messing with the 350Z because it's been sitting here too long since the dyno session and I'm ready to drive it. Um, as you guys just saw, I pulled out the power steering line that I am having all kinds of problems with. And I don't know why I keep having stupid problems with like all these components. You guys saw all the crap that I went through with the tweaked harness. And I mean, that's not a small component, but it's like, one of the things that it's like, that should be pretty straightforward. I understand that there could be uh, electrical issues, like, you know, pins, whatever, but yeah, that was stupid. And now I'm dealing with it with a power steering line of all things. If you guys see my other videos, you know that I have this one line, the one that goes down to the power steering rack blow off um, during the competition at Winter Jam, and then move down here to the dyno video. Um, the other end blew off. So big shout out to Crick for getting me back on the road. Um, he got me a compression fitting. This has held. Um, I just really think that the way that this was made was not right. Um, you can see this like fitting right here. Looks like it was like crushed on here. This was sitting here like this, but there's like no compression on here. Um, I don't know if this was like just holding this on here, not allowing it to leak, but barely holding it on. I feel like there should be like a tighter crimp on it um, or something to that matter. So I'm done messing with these lines. Um, I've been back and forth with Siki. I still don't have an answer on what's going on. I do have to send them this back so they can kind of, you know, look over it and see, but um, I can't wait any longer for my car. Um, you guys know at the end of the month, well, actually the beginning of March, uh, Mike and I are cruising down to Southern California for a society meet. So I hope y'all show up. I hope to meet y'all. Um, but yeah, I need my car running. That's like a 450 mile trip one way. And then we're gonna be driving around down there and stuff. So I can't be having stuff like this happen to me. So I talked to my dad today and uh, my dad actually told me about a hydraulic place out in Concord um, that builds hydraulic lines. And so I'm done messing with aftermarket stuff. I think I'm gonna go down there, tell him I need a line that's like capable of like 900,000 PSI. Um, so this does not happen again. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, then that'll be one less headache off my back. So let's get out of here. go okay and the map says 39 minutes okay and one thing i was thinking about on the way right now um i just wanted to make it clear that i am not bashing sicky or their products or how they do business or anything along those lines um i've had nothing but good relations with them i've used their products in the past i have people that are sponsored by them and i don't think that this is a direct reflection of anything on how they do business um it's just unfortunate that I got a line like this that, you know, came apart. Um, I don't think that it's a reflection of them. Um, they are taking care of me. They're just as dumbfounded as I am about what happened with this product. So I am sending it back. They've been very adamant about talking to me um, and trying to resolve this. But, you know, time is of the essence right now and I can't really wait on them. So that's why I'm going down to the hydraulic place um, to have a line built. Plus, then I know that you know, hydraulic lines are capable of high power, um, high PSI, and so I'm just like cutting down the time. So I don't want you guys thinking um, that Siki makes piss poor products or that there's any issues with them. Um, I've had people that I've recommended this line to still even after um, this issue that I've had. Um, like I said, it's not a direct reflection of them. So I don't want you guys bashing them. I don't want you to think that I'm bashing them. You guys know I keep it 100 on this channel and I make sure that I show you every step of the way, all the failures, all the progress, all the successes. Um, so this is just part of my process. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and yeah, now I gotta pay attention to the road. We are just now getting here, WK Hydraulics. Going to see what this is about. All right, so it was super quick. You can see I already got a hydraulic line made. Um, the outside diameter is a little bit bigger than this other one, um, but he was able to use the dash six ends 
um, set the orientation how I needed it. So I guess we're gonna go home and throw this in. Uh, I'm super excited about it. That was super fast. Uh, these guys over at WK Hydraulics, um, I mean, just super good, super fair on the price. Um, so yeah, stoked. I'm gonna see how this thing goes now. Okay, and we are back home. I wanna show you guys before I put it in the car, just the sheer size difference. And I wanna say almost overall quality um, of the lines that now, the new one that I'm putting on versus the old one. This one is a stainless braided line. Um, it's got this and fitting, but it doesn't really compare to this like hydraulic line that I have. Still dash six, I'm really excited to put this thing in. But I just wanted to show you kind of the overview and uh, yeah, let's get this thing in. We don't need that no more. All right, to give you guys a final look with the hose now all installed, you can see it really doesn't look much different. I do have to zip tie this down a little bit so that way it doesn't hit the header right there. But other than that, you won't be able to tell that I really even changed anything. If you come under here, you can see it's just a little bit different. Actually, the bigger bend on there actually helps over the one that I got from Siki. So all in all, everything fit together. Price was 60 bucks. It was just, I don't know, this is probably the best thing that I could do for it. So now I need to find some power steering fluid, put it in here, burp it, and we're gonna see um, just how this goes. Okay, fluid in it now. And the last thing, gotta make sure that all the power steering fluid is off of the alternator and anything down there. I'll clean it off a little bit better, but you guys know that I like it really clean. I don't want there to be any residue on there if there doesn't have to be. Um, and now I'm gonna put back on the intake, um, make sure everything's together, and then we're gonna fire the car up and I'm gonna bring it down here on the driveway so that way I can do the wheels lock to lock clean off all the stuff underneath because when I took the line off down there, it actually did like spill over. And so I got to clean that up a little bit, but then we're going to take it for test drive. I just noticed before I got started, I forgot to show you guys that I actually put a catch can on this. Simple, clean. It's kind of like how it was on my other uh, LS engine. What I did is I took the Mishimoto one and I actually fabricated like this bracket that normally holds the power steering fluid for the VQ. And I just made it where this plate is on here and this is riveted to it. So nice and clean, functional, comes out, goes in, comes out, goes in, pretty easy. But yeah, that was one other thing that I did to it real quick. Okay, she's out of the garage now. As I've explained in other videos, um, one thing I like to do is fill the reservoir all the way up till it stops um, going down. Once it comes up to the top, I'll take the steering wheel without the engine running. I'll go lock to lock a bunch of times because there will be air down in the worm gear, in the steering rack, in the lines, and that'll kind of push itself out. After I know that I've done that about 10 or 15 times, then I'll put more fluid in it, fill it to the top and turn it on. Um, it will suck down, the pump will suck it down um, and fill the rest of the space that it didn't uh, fill when you guys, or you know, when you're like doing it back and forth with the engine off, but um, it'll make sure that the fluid doesn't get low enough to aerate. So um, I've explained in other videos, but that's essentially what I'm gonna do right now. And then we're gonna turn the car on and hopefully everything will be good. See the turning pretty smooth no issues I don't have weight on the vehicle yet so I don't really know but one finger turning oh, look at that angle so I'm gonna probably do this about 10 or 15 more times just to ensure that all the air is out and then I'll put it on the ground and make sure that I don't have any weird spots see how this does I kind of have a small feeling I might need to change the wrap there's like I don't know a couple small like rubbing issues I don't really know what's going on but we'll see how this feels
No weird noises, no leaks. This line seems to be holding up pretty well. The steering felt good. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the rack only because of the fact that I emptied all of the fluid out rapidly twice um, when that line blew. So I don't know how, you know, uh, durable this rack is gonna be. But for right now, everything seems to be okay. It turns smooth, lock to lock, no issues, no weird binds, um, no squealing, no leaks. So I'm gonna keep driving this uh, probably over the course of this month just to make sure that everything is A1. I might just go farther and farther each time to make sure that I don't have any issues because we do have a 400 mile trip ahead of us. Um, most of it's in a straight line, but I would hate for us to get down there and something like that stupid break. So I don't know, so far so good. Uh, I'm kind of impressed with this line. It went in easy. Everything fits just like the Siki line did. Um, so yeah, shout out to the guys over there at uh, the hydraulic place because this is, this is awesome. Okay, as you can see, now she's back in the garage. Everything seems to be okay. Uh, I just took it for another little rip around the street just to make sure I wasn't tripping, that there wasn't anything that was, it was gonna pop blech, was gonna pop up at the last second. So everything here is dry. I've checked it, I've looked underneath the car, tested the steering again. So I guess it was successful today. I feel pretty good about it too because I was like lightweight stressing on if I was gonna make it down there. Even though it's just a power steering line, I would have had to order another one or figure something out. So the fact that my dad told me about this, you know, hydraulic shop and what they were able to make it right there on the spot was just, I don't know, a big blessing. So um, yeah, I guess the car is like ready. It's already been tuned uh, by Jason, so I don't have that to worry about. Um, I mean, I might do an oil change on it and call it good. So. You know, I look forward to meeting all y'all down at the Society thing. You guys should come out. I think it's on March 4th. It's that Saturday. It's from 8.30 to 12.30, I think they said. I'm gonna put the flyer up on my Instagram. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the Society one. Um, you can check it out on society.com. So yeah, I'm stoked. It's gonna be a super cool event. Um, I'm stoked to actually be able to get out in this car and drive it a while. Um, when me and Mike drove it down to South San Francisco to get the tunes, it was just, it was a lot of fun. And like, I can't wait to do lots more of that. So here you go. We're, we're all done. Um, I'm gonna go in, edit this video so you guys have it for tomorrow. I've missed y'all. I hope y'all have been well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm stoked. So much love to you and your family. Talk to you later. See you in the next video. Oh, and one last thing, since you guys are still here. You guys like the LS3? We have one that is gonna become available for a giveaway. You guys have seen it on Mike Mike's stories. Check it out, probably the next couple weeks, we're gonna be giving this thing away. So make sure you enter, make sure you keep up on it, stay up on his page, follow him on his Instagram, follow me on my Instagram. We'll be putting plenty of stuff up about it, but this is a low mile LS3. Get on it.